Number 10. Now, 1994 was a big season, of course, for so many good and so many bad memories. But did you know, there was only one race weekend where there was not a driver transfer before the actual race weekend. Number 9. You all want to know the shortest F1 career ever is? Ernst Luf at the 1953 German Grand Prix. He lasted all of two metres before his fuel pump failed and he never raced again. <laughs> what a loof. Number 8. Three current drivers on the F1 grid, Max Verstappen, Lance Stroll and Lando Norris, all have Belgian mothers, but race under different nationalities, which is a bit of a slap to their mothers, and Belgium. Number 7. You may not have heard him, but Brian Benton remains the only driver to have more fastest laps than points. He scored a mega zero points in his career, but remarkably one fastest lap at the 1982 British Grand Prix. Number 6. Out of all the last race battles for the title and those that have won it early, there still is only one instance where the champion has won it at his home race, all the way back to the inaugural championship in 1950, where Nina Farina won it his home race to clinch the first official F1 title. Number 5. John Watson and Nicky Lauda are the only teammates in F1 history to take a 1-2 for two different constructors. Lauda won the 1978 Italian Grand Prix with Watson second for Brabham Alfa Romeo, and then the roles were reversed with Watson winning the 1983 US Grand Prix West and Lauda second for McLaren Ford. It's also worth noting that Watson winning from 22nd is the record for a winner starting from the furthest back. Number 4. 2012 remains the only season so far with the driver's champion, this case it was Sebastian Vettel, did not win a race in Europe, incredibly. Number 3. 1994 was supposed to be something special until Ayrton Senna's tragic death, but did you know... Michael Schumacher never actually had a pole position until after Senna had died. Number 2. Sergio Perez, the beloved Mexican, is the only F1 driver to have won a race while finishing the first lap in last place. Number 1. Speaking of crazy stuff, Jensen Button's mega Canadian Grand Prix 2011 win threw up some interesting numbers. He set the record for the lowest average speed, which was 74.86 km per hour. Longest race win, which was 4 hours, 4 minutes and 39 seconds. And most pit stops that a race winner has had through a race, which was 6. But one of those was a drive through penalty, so technically 5. Add to that, he was stone dead last on lap 37. That makes that even crazier. Thanks so much for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in part 3.